Here, Optimus. Uh, Wait, put it, it back in frame. I am super optimistic. Cool vision. Low jiggers. As I was saying, super optical visual mode jiggers. Uh, For millions of years, the only constant in the lives of the citizens of Cybertron has been change. Millions of years of war have left much of the once beautiful machine world in a, a jumbled chaos of shattered metal and melted slag. You have good eyes, Prime. Like, how do you keep following this? Throughout it all. Only one robot stands like a bulwark against which the tide of... Right. What's a bulwark? A bulwark is a wall of earth or other material built for defense. Oh. oh. Thanks. Thanks, Prime. Built in dictionary. You know. The standard stuff. Anyway. Stands like a bulwark against which the tide of chaos breaks and washes back. Optimus Prime is the greatest commander of the Autobots and the symbol of the best they have to offer. Honor, compassion, justice. To hell with them, I am the best they have to offer. <laughs> the evil... He is the ultimate warrior against the evil of Megatron and the best hope Cybertron has of ever achieving peace. And yet they killed me in the movie. <clears throat> he emerged like a savior from the darkest time of the war, an unknown, chosen to lead, and granted the power and wisdom of every leader that had come before. Though before the war he had been a simple archivist, the power of the Autobot Matrix of Leadership transfigured him. He became a warrior powerful enough to oppose even the unstoppable Megatron, motivated by the love and the love of peace and honor he had learned in his study of the history of his world. If there is a victory to be won, it is Optimus Prime who will lead the Autobots to it. What if the victory what if the victory to be won is the Decepticon? I don't know. Okay, first of all, he is not an advanced conversion. Are you guys ready? Yes. I am ready, Prime. Read them stats like you've never read any stats before. <coughs> Get through it pretty fast because I'm hitting the Strength, 10. Intelligence, 10. Speed, 8. Endurance, 10. Rank, 10. Courage, 10. Fire Blast. Fire Blast. 8, anyway. What in good God's name is Fire Blast? Skill, 10. Brett, what is Fire Blast? I guess it's like firepower, but... Why didn't they call it fucking firepower? Because they wanted to be different, of course. You know Hasbro. Dumbasses. They like to be fucking different. I swear to God, they're retarded. I know they're retarded. Okay. Except they came up with me. Twenty-five years. In 1984, the Transformers robots stormed into televisions, comic shops, and toy aisles worldwide, and changed forever how we thought about action figures. It created a craze that lasted for a quarter of a century through dozens of permutations. Our world was expanded beyond the mundane fantasies of action heroes and fashion idols to include an endless universe populated by unstoppable metal giants, vicious alien tyrants, and monstrous planet eaters from the beginning of time. From then on, we lived in a world that was more than meets the eye. Because like us, there's more to them than meets the eye.